Hi viewers. I have had a couple of requests from some of my subscribers. If a normal circuit breaker would work also on DC instead of normal AC. Um, it does work but it's not recommended. Firstly the contacts are not designed for it. It's DC is a continuous flow of electricity while AC has a change 50 times or 60 times per second. So I'll prove it in this uh, quick setup I just made and uh, yeah. So use the appropriate gear for anything um, you use for testing. Uh, a DC, a proper DC operated breaker. I haven't got one of those here, so uh, but I'll show you what uh, will happen with a 6 amp breaker on a 20 amp circuit. So yeah, stay tuned. I got my controlled wall unit. Um, as you're working with alternating current 240 volts, um, these things only should be carried out by people who are working in the industry and know what they're doing. Safety is paramount. Uh, simple setup, heat bank and an uh, connector block. At the moment I've got an AC breaker, I'll get a close-up of it, a 6M breaker, and bridge rectifier and a big capacitor, 4700 microfarads, 500 volts and an ammeter, and then a 4.6 kilowatt heat bank. The breaker is a standard Merlin Gurlin breaker, rated to C6 normal operation, rated at 6KA, 230 to 400 volts. AC input comes in the test block here and then goes through ammeter are the two yellow wires and then it flows to the breaker on the AC side and then we've got the rectifier here and the heater runs at the moment on DC okay I will turn the circuit breaker on and after that I will turn on the main supply the 240 volts by means of a contactor instant trip I'll do that again the 6 amp breaker doesn't like a 20 amp current instant trip. Okay viewers, I've connected the breaker up on the DC side. Let's see what happens now. 30 plus amps. Seven, eight. There you go. Smoke. As from the previous shot, it was pretty obvious that the breaker was not happy. I'll do that one more time. There's a different angle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11.5 seconds. The energized device. Ok, do another one in the semi dark, see how much the thing acts. Activate device. 22, oh, not much arcing. That was 6 seconds, obviously. Well, the device is de energized. We'll close this breaker now, and you'll see the capacitor discharge in the breaker. It's quite a good splash. Oh, it doesn't. I'm going to test one more time because previously I think the biometallic strip was warm. Let's see if that's it. De energize the device and I'll discharge the capacitor in the breaker. Oh, it doesn't pop that hard. The breaker is not happy. Thanks for watching. I think. In this video we definitely prove an AC breaker should not be used on DC circuits and have an uh, appropriate DC rated breaker or an HRC fuse. Thanks for watching viewers.